The death is announced of Matthew Ferdinand, also known as Gillette Blade, or Brother Guy, originally from Monipo Poile, who resided at Over the Bridge Denry. He passed away on Wednesday, 8 September 2021, at approximately 8.20 a.m. at the Denry Hospital. He was 84 years old. Left to mourn his wife, Egyptian Ferdinand, also known as Ginevra of Over the Bridge Denry, four sons, Delbert Ferdinand of Poile, Samuel Ferdinand in St. Croix, Keith Ferdinand in the USA, Niles Ferdinand, owner of Southwell Stores in V4, and his wife, Emilia Ferdinand, one adopted son, Nolan Joseph of Poile, one adopted daughter, Polita Joseph, five grandchildren, including Samara Ferdinand, Zoya Ferdinand, both of V4, Lashley Moto Winter of New York, two great grandchildren, one brother, Keith Burt Ferdinand, also known as Icebo of Denry, three sisters, Thelma Shawnmine of the UK, Oceana Modes, also known as Aussie of the UK, Eureta Agard, also known as Ismay of Monipo. 29 nieces and nephews, including Moline Richard, Rosmina Ferdinand, also known as BB of Monipo, Lucy Mathur of Parsias, Kiefer and family of Denry, Albert Ferdinand, and Marilyn Acapo of the UK, Paul Joseph, Peter Richard. Marcus Ferdinand of Monipo, Tina Richard of Orlando, Florida, brother-in-law, Joseph Modest of the UK, also left to mourn, the Ferdinand family of Monipo, the UK, Canada, and the US, including Irwin and Linda, the Alexander family of Denry, the Sinclair and Smith families of Saldibus and Labry, the Emanuel family, the Francis and Joseph family of Poile, the Filgens family of Castries, Angelique Seeley and family of the U.S., Joseph Pierre Seeley, also known as Jonah, and family, Paula Seeley, Eustace, also known as Botta and family, Andre Etienne and family, all of Denry, the funeral service for the late Matthew Ferdinand, also known as Gillette Blade or Brother Guy, will be held at the Monrepo SDA Church and then the body will be laid to rest at the Monrepo Cemetery. The body now lies at Lazarus Funeral Home, New Dock Road, V4. May he rest in peace. All COVID-19 protocols will be in full effect.